Hey y'all, this is Kendra from Kindly Kendra and I have a tip video for you today. Hey y'all, I am so excited to do today's video. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning here, hi how are you thank you so much for joining me um i have a different type of video for you i actually have a tip video for you and this video was actually the idea of one of my subscribers well they asked me a question and from them asking a question it gave me the idea to do this video so i want to thank her so much um, we discussed it a little bit in the comments but this video is five tips that i have for you to get a happy planner for cheap um so um, if you don't know that I am in my first year of planning, but I have gotten all the planners that I currently use for cheap. And um, that's how I got into the Happy Planner um, was by getting it for sale. Because I originally, when I looked at the Happy Planner, I was like, oh, that's too much. I ain't paying that. So then, you know, I looked into ways to get it for cheaper. And that's what I've been sticking with thus far. So number one. In no particular order, my number one so far is catch a sale. And when I say a sale, I mean a real sale. This planner here, this is the Mary Boo Design. Um, this is a horizontal planner. And um, if you don't know, I am a horizontal planner by heart. Let me just open the page so you guys don't have to look at that so much. And um, I bought this planner for $8.40. $8.40. I got this from Michaels and it wasn't on the clearance aisle. It was just on the happy planner aisle and I had the little app. I scanned it. It said $8. I said sold. I was looking for the horizontal planner. And so, um, I went into Michaels and as you can see, although it's a horizontal planner, there are no horizontal pages in it because I use it as a Franken planner. This is the very first planner I ever bought from the happy planner eight dollars and forty cents from michaels how did i get it for eight dollars and forty cents i bought this planner this is a 2022 planner i bought this in the end of february of 2022 so it was already two months in of the date of it starting and that is how i got it for eight dollars and forty cents also it was part of the fall release of 2021 which means it came out in like august september i think september of 2021 so it had been out and on the shelf for a while so i believe michaels was ready to get rid of it so that's one of my tips is um to catch a sale catch a real sale pay attention to what the full price is what well, what they're offering to me 30 percent is not a good enough sale if you're gonna get it from the craft store now if you get it from the happy planners website that's probably the, one of the best you're going to get. It's 25, 30% off. But if you're getting it from a craft store, 30% is not a good sale. You could get it for way more. You just have to pay attention to their sale prices and try to stay away from door busters. Okay? So, tip number one catch a real sale. Okay. Also, I did get this one. Sorry. I wanted to show y'all this one as well. This is an undated planner. Um, I got this off of, I believe it was either a warehouse sale or a summer sale or something, something of that nature. I got this. And so I got this for really cheap as well. This is an undated um, mini dashboard. I already don't use this anymore. I loved, I loved, loved, loved this layout. But what I was using it for, I don't need it. But so then I have all these undated pages that I could use in the future. So keep that in mind, undated planners are an investment. Okay, number two. Number two is sign up for rewards programs. Why? Who cares? It makes a big difference, I promise. So signing up for rewards programs, I recommend you sign to, signing up for, for Happy Planner, at least Joann's, michaels and the happy planner okay this planner is a once again undated planner which again i believe undated planners are an investment because you can use them anytime going forward i got this for either 
50 or 55% off. I can't really remember, but I know the way I got it for that much off was they were already having a sale. Plus I had rewards. Plus if you sign up for, especially I know it, well, actually all three, Joanne's, Michael's, and the Happy Planner. If you don't know, I'm a military spouse. You can get military discount at all three of them. So in Joanne's, which is where I got this, as long as it's on sale, but not a doorbuster sale, you can use your military discount on top of it. That's how I got this planner. Also, same thing with Michael's. Michael's, as long as it's on sale and um, there's no like... Um, I don't know if they call them doorbusters or there's something they call them there where there's certain sales you can't use anything on top of that. And the same thing with the Happy Planner. They have exclusions with their sale. Also, I believe the Happy Planner has a student discount and a military discount. So with certain things, you can use it. I know out of everybody, excuse me, between the two craft stores, Michael's, Joann's, and the Happy Planner, I do know the Happy Planner has the most restrictions on their additional off. So back to catch a sale which was number one and number two on top of that signing up for rewards so you can use your rewards on top of sales or um, you could get something additional on top of a sale so I know at a happy planner you can't use your reward points on top of certain sales but on top of certain sales you can use your military and student discount on top of their sales on certain ones not all of them but that is my um number two also i don't have it here with me yet but out of the new happy planner release i did get a new mini planner for nine dollars because i got the mini planner and i think i bought a stencil and it came up to like 20 something bucks and or 26 27 something like that i had a 25 dollar reward and i had to pay for the shipping and taxes and it came out to nine dollars using rewards you guys so sign up for rewards tip number three tip number three is and i know this is gonna sound a little crazy but wait until the planner date starts i promise you it works this planner here which is my current catch-all planner i got this for eight dollars and seventy cents eight dollars and seventy cents i got this from hobby lobby remember when i said i bought the mary boo design horizontal and i bought this for eight dollars and forty cents well i decided i didn't like these discs and i wasn't the biggest fan of this cover or the dividers for that matter so i wanted something cuter but uh I had only paid eight dollars and forty cents so i did not want to get a whole new planner and pay full price but I did want something cuter. So I just kept looking and looking. And then one day on the Hobby Lobby clearance aisle, here was this beauty. And so I have Frankenplant the two planners together. And I essentially used the, this cover and these dividers. And then I used the guts of the Mary Boo design. This was a 18 month planner. And so majority of the, I bought this, I don't know, maybe a month after I bought the Mary Boo the Mary Boo design or maybe a month and a half. So majority of the time was already past of when this planner started and I franken planned them together. So that is what I mean by wait until the planner date starts. And um if you already have a planner and you have sheets you haven't used, you can use those. Um majority of us, you know, we have more than one planner, so it's not crazy to wait until the date starts. Same thing with this planner. This is a 18 month horizontal planner um, that came out in the spring release. I haven't even used this planner like at all. Like, look at this you guys. But I got it, oh, I'm so sorry. I got it for 60% off at, um, at Joann's. So if I need it, I have it and um, I bought it just in case uh, I wasn't going to like the horizontal that was being released in the fall that just recently came out because I bought this in the spring. 
And so again, that was me buying something this once the date started and I got it for 60% off, okay? Also, if you have undated planners, while you're waiting on like these fall release planners to go on sale or like right now the 18 month planners are on sale, um, you can use your undated pages in the meantime if you're just trying to catch the sale. If you're really about the sales like that, it's worth it. Number four, my tip number four is to check resale sites and Facebook groups, okay? So I have this planner here, which is a dashboard planner. This is was part of the fall release for um, 21. This is a FY 2022. And I bought this, I want to say in June, June or July of this year. So this planner was, again, going back to tip number three, it was already six months in. I wanted to try a dashboard layout because I had never tried it before. So again, I've never, at this point, I still have yet to pay full price, not even half price for a planner. So I was like, if I'm just trying the dashboard layout out, I need to get it for cheap like I have with my other planners. Well, I got this planner for $12 off of Macari. Now, the person was selling it for, I think, $16 and I counter offered. I sent them an offer. They sent me something back. I sent them a, uh, they declined it or something like that. And then I was like, no, I need it for this price because then on top of that, I'll have to pay for shipping. So then um, she, I, get, I guess it took her like two days to respond to me. And then finally she accepted my offer. So um, that's how I got this for $12. I never pay full price, you guys, um, on resale sites. Rather, it's uh, Macari, rather, it's um, Poshmark. You can always send the seller an offer. And the worst they could do is say no. That's it. No. And that's okay. But I don't care if they're selling this thing for two bucks, I'm going to ask for it for a dollar. That's how I treat resale sites. Because again, I'm always trying to get it for the lowest price I can. Also, in Facebook groups, you can enter giveaways. Um, people are always giving stuff away. People are always doing D stashes. And if you're just wanting to try something out, I always say, you know, you shouldn't pay full price for something you're just going to try out. So get you could get it off of somebody's D stash. You could get it from a giveaway. Um, you could just purchase it off somebody who's not using it. Whatever. You know, so yes, that's my number four. Check resale sites, Facebook groups. And number five. Number five, and I've already touched on it a tad bit, is redate old planners or used unused planners, okay? So undated planners, to, again, to me, undated planners are an investment because you can use those pages at any time. Also, when I say unused planners, we as planners tend to constantly feel the need to get the new planner or what have you. So I'm saying used planners you already have and redate those pages. You can redate them by simply widening out and writing over it. Or if you have like a dated sticker book or, you know, an essential sticker book with dates, you can redate it. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, and this is kind of like a little sneak peek into my lineup for 2023, the dashboards. I didn't like the dashboard planners that came out in the fall release. And, um, but I, and I Franken planner, I Franken plan my monthly layout and my dashboard layout to make one planner. So I really liked one of the monthlies, but I did not like the dashboards and there was only one that was neutral. I didn't like it. So I bought the monthly, but I did not buy a new dashboard. And what I did was I knew someone, okay who is my sister, you may know a friend, a cousin, whomever, a planner bestie, who had it, who had a dashboard layout and decided they didn't want to use it. They wanted to use something else. So I simply just asked my sister, hey, what are you going to do with the pages of your dashboard layout? And she was like, nothing. So I said, hey, can I have them? Because she had an 18 month planner. This, she was using this for school. And she decided she didn't want to use it. She wanted to use the study habit planner. When the study had it, when the study habit planner, bleep, 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 she decided she wanted to use the study habit planner 
when the teachers, um, the back to school release came out. I'm sorry, I'm missing up my words there. So I asked her, I said, hey, this is an 18 month planner. Can I use the guts, the pages of just your 2023? And she says, well, yeah, but I wanted my divider. She said, I really want my dividers. I said, no problem because all I need are these pages here, okay? So for 2023, I'm not buying a dashboard planner. I'm using the guts of my sister's planner that she is no longer using, and I'm going to combine it with my 2023 monthly layout planner, and that is how I'm coming up with my social media planner for 2023 for cheap, okay? All right, you guys, so that is it for my five tips. I really hope that you guys were able to learn something and will be able to use it in the future because I am always here to save some coins. And if you have gotten a planner for um, cheap, I would love for you to tell me what is the cheapest that you've ever gotten a planner and a happy planner in the comments below. Mine is $8.40. I would love to hear what the cheapest you've ever spent on a happy planner. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And should you so choose to have it in your heart, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, you guys, stay positive, be blessed. Love y'all. Peace.